Hello everyone. Welcome to day 52 of Wild Writing in the Time of Corona. I hope you're, um, I hope you're keeping well and I hope you're still enjoying the writing. We have today another, um, another workshop um, for you to uh, wrestle with. I hope you'll find it uh, fun um, and um, see how many of the words you choose that you can use. So I'm going to give you six categories and you're going to um, shortly um, select a word for each category, just the w whatever word comes into your head. Um, and from those six words, I th hopefully a poem will emerge in your mind. You may need to mull it over. I know some people go on long walks and it comes to them, they come back. Excuse me, others like me sit and just do it straight away. So here are the words for today for you to select, um, uh, select your own from. So, the, so number one is a planet, any planet. Number two is a river, na the name of a river. Number three is a town. Number four is an ancient object, uh, some sort of object, ancient object. Uh, number five is a powerful emotion, so a powerful feeling. And number six is something that holds materials together. <laughs> so it could be like glue, cement, some sort of fixative. Okay, so we have a planet, a river, a town, an ancient object, a powerful emotion, and something that holds materials together. Okay, so you, I'm gonna, uh, suggest you pause in a moment you select your words and then from your words you see what sort of poem you'd like to do you might very well find yourself doing a long poem you might do a short poem you might have it humorous you might think about the point of view you do it from um, you might decide to have um, a different sort of ending uh, you have all sorts of skills to use in doing this so I hope you very much enjoy it so with uh, my trusty pen, which still hasn't run out, and my paper, which nearly has, <laughs> um, I'm going to say, say, start. Welcome back. I hope that was fruitful and you enjoyed your uh, moment of, um, of being creative. And I'm going to share with you what I did. Um, I'll put this on the, um, I'll post this as well so you can read it. Um, and uh, please feel free to comment um, on any of the poems, even, you know, whether you just like them or not, or, or you can be more detailed if you wish. Okay, so my choice, my planet was a Venus. Um, I, see, I see it every night. Um, and I think, I just, I just love the fact that it's there and it's the evening star, as I call it. Um, the river is the Nile, somewhere I've never been but would like to. The town is Bristol, I chose that randomly because I quite like the sound of it and um, it's where I studied for a while. The ancient object is the Rosetta Stone which I've seen several times in the British Museum. Uh, the powerful emotion was sorrow and the something that holds materials together was mud. So. Not a terribly auspicious list. I, I have to say I managed, I got very sidetracked in this and I um, only managed to use four. But anyway, so um, here's, here's, the, um, here's the poem, which may be called Rosetta Stone. I'm not sure. Anyway. Far below the line of Venus, nestling in the Nile's deep delta, Rosetta, port and gateway to the world. Winds blew nightly across the river. Slaves would toil in heat and mud. Temples rose to touch the sky. Scholars with their scratchy stones carved granite blocks so all the world could know the goodness of a young boy king, Ptolemy, 13, 
whose deeds are beautiful, king of Egypt, whose heart is perfect. That's how the words of the stone go. Now we can see all the hieroglyphs, the Demotic Egyptian and the ancient Greek encased in glass, a museum piece, the stone that can speak. Um, I think I like the first and last line of that poem very much. <laughs> I'm not sure about the middle. Um, it was funny, I didn't, uh, when I chose the object, I didn't think for a moment that I would end up writing a poem about it, but um, I, um, I think it's because of something I've always been um, interested in, so I did a little bit of research um, and produced that. So um, I look forward very much to seeing what you come up with um, and um, hope uh, that uh, the act of um, putting the, the words on the page and listening to the sound of them um, is something that you're uh, continuing to enjoy. So you take care and I will see you tomorrow when we'll be on day 53. Goodbye for now.